black entry. So the entry, entry is nice and wide. The door is the standard 36. Just one little step up. Probably like a three inch step. This is the entry. Kind of does like a little dog leg into the main living area. So as you come in, on the right, we have two bedrooms and a bathroom. So bedroom, looking out onto the side. The roof is, I forget what they call that. It's like a barn roof and it has a closet with sliding doors. And then the other bedroom is pretty much the same. Faces the front of the house. Could also be a little office. And has sliding closet doors. And then between the two of them is the bathroom. A little side window. And again, the vaulted ceiling. And sink. Just one shower, tub, and an linen closet here. Shower all the way up. So as we move on through the hallway, you have this little sunken shelf feature. And to the left, you have your laundry. It's a pretty square room. Your connections here, a drying bar, and a shelf. All these doors are 32 wide. It just goes out to the garage. So, two car garage with a small usual lip, and again, attic access. And then you have a coat closet. Let me move on through. You have another one of these features. And then it opens up into your kitchen and dining. Lovely bright white kitchen. Again, you've got your center island. Lots of space. You've got your oven and microwave. Gas stove top. And double sink. Little window to look outside while you're doing the dishes. Dishwasher here. And then your island has lots of storage underneath, drawers, cabinets. And the thing about this kitchen is all the hardware is already installed. So all the upper cabinets have handles, or the drawers. That usually costs quite a bit ex extra. And again, lots of space to circle around the island. Your fridge would go here, and then that's an additional workspace so this one doesn't have a formal dining so you could just have a table in this kind of area and then you have your main living room the great thing about this house is you have these sliding doors that slide all the way open and you do look out in some green space as well um, that's also one of the roads through the neighborhood, but it's not a major highway. But this is a bigger patio than the previous one. You've got the little nice fencing around here. And the actual grass is three steps down. Um, so not too high up, just a little higher, lower down than the patio. Yeah, you've got cedar fencing between you and the neighbor and then some trees it's just a construction truck going by and fencing again so the house next door is quite far on in the construction and then the one on the other side is um, earlier stages of construction but they are building it so by the time you got here it should be well on its way 
you wouldn't have construction noise for too long. So let me give you another look. Patio, a couple of steps. Oh, there's plenty of room to do a zigzag ramp. And then looking back, so I think this would be great because you wouldn't have to make any modifications other than a little bit of a ramp. It's like a three plus one, like a four inch step up. Um, but these open pretty wide. I'll do the exact measurement. It's about a 50 inch wide opening. So that's one less thing to do. And again, you've got the vaulted ceilings, lots of sunken lights. And this way into the master bedroom. So you do have the 90 degree turn, but this is really wide. I'll give you the measurements. So it's not gonna be a tight turn. Um, like I say, this is, I'm trying to get the angle here. Much wider than other openings that we've seen between here and here. So I think if you were trying to come into the bedroom, once we widen this door a little bit, it's much easier turn. And you've got three lovely big windows looking out the back. And this is going to be a 36 inch opening. The other great thing about this house is the shower. Uh, if we just change the frame, so you don't have a door, I think you would probably be able to roll on in there. Because it's all Again, I'll get the measurements, but I'm not. Don't think you'd have to do too much modifying for this one. This has just got a standard sort of frame and door, but we could make it a bigger door or frameless. So you've got a little natural light window there, and into the master closet. And again, this is narrow, but you could open it up here. High and low bars. You have another little storage closet here. And the toilet here. Which, again, you could probably widen Behind one of these doors is one of that little nooks, so you could take that away if need be and make that a much wider accessible space. So let's walk back through. And again, this is 213 Emerald Green. Lovely big kitchen area. And then this space, you could have a dining table. And then this is your sitting area. So it's all very open. It's not a separate space for dining, but you already have that nice big um, sliding glass door. So we'll just walk backwards, back through the front. This is your, did I miss a room? I think I missed two rooms, sorry. <laughs> this is another bedroom with a small closet in the corner. And these two have like a Jack and Jill bathroom that they share. So bathroom. Actually, no, it's not Jack and Jill. I'm getting to turn around. That's one bedroom <laughs> and you can access it this way and you can also access it the other way. So one bedroom, two doors to one bathroom. So the house has three full bathrooms. Again, and these are the two bedrooms at the front with the other bathroom. This could be a nice office space. And then your front door, it's just got the kind of 
privacy glass. And again, it's 36 wide. The flooring is the luxury vinyl plank throughout all the main areas. Bathrooms and laundry have tile. And then the bedrooms all have carpet. But you could change that to whatever you need. And there you have it. I love this bright sunny kitchen. And there would be space on this island if you wanted to add on a lower section where you could work at easily in your chair. Plenty of space to do that. And one last look.